the Senate Republicans' chaotic late-night vote Friday to overhaul the tax system widened the country's partisan division Saturday, sparking a political grudge match that lawmakers vowed to carry into next year's midterm elections. Democrats, united in their opposition, attacked the legislation as a scam passed to benefit wealthy donors and corporations. Republicans, promising years of wage and job growth once the bill becomes law, acknowledged that they face a difficult task convincing voters to have faith in a measure that received support from the GOP alone. They tend not to be popular, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, R. Kentucky, referring to bills passed with only one party's support, told the Washington Post in an interview Saturday. Generally speaking, in the beginning, people decide they don't like it. The test for Republicans is whether they can convince voters that this legislation will put more money in their wallets, and the GOP leader is not sure whether they can do that in time for the 2018 elections. We don't know, McConnell said. But he said he thinks that in the long run, the economic boost will come and voters will eventually reward Republicans. Whether it's immediately popular or not becomes irrelevant if it does what you hope, he added. Just hours after the vote, Zen. Bernie Sanders, I Vermont, who ever since his unsuccessful bid for the 2016 Democratic presidential nomination has been a leading voice pushing the party to the left on economic matters, demonstrated his intention to make the tax bill a marquee issue in 2018. Hours after the pre-dawn passage of a $1.5 trillion tax cut, President Donald Trump suggested for the first time Saturday that he would consider a higher corporate rate than the one Senate Republicans had just endorsed, in remarks that could complicate sensitive negotiations to pass a final bill. Hours after the pre-dawn passage of a $1.5 trillion tax cut, President Donald Trump suggested for the first time Saturday that he would consider a higher corporate rate than the one Senate Republicans had just endorsed in remarks that could complicate sensitive negotiations to pass a final bill. Sanders headed to the airport for an urgent trip across the Midwest, starting at Daton's Masonic Temple to try to rally 1,300 supporters against the bill, and telling them they could still defeat it when a conference committee is formed to combine differing House and Senate packages. The president was lying to you, Sanders said. This is class warfare, and we're going to stand up and fight. The back and forth Saturday showed the opportunities, and challenges, for each side as they stake their political ground on taxes. Democrats see an opening for an attack on President Donald Trump and Republicans as allies of the wealthy and Wall Street interests. Republicans, who watched Trump capture an anti-establishment populist mood in 2016, may find it difficult to sell a tax bill that was underwater in polls even before the mostly party-line vote on the Senate measure. The Senate tax bill that passed in the wee hours of Saturday morning could have massive implications for schools and universities, students and parents.